Hey everybody, your host AMF1534 here, and uh, I've had a couple of users today. Um, they've been asking me to make a video on how it is that I render my videos. Um, so I figured I'd show you. Why not? You know, I just got home from work not too long ago, and I figured, you know, I got nothing else to do right now. I actually, for your entertainment, I just, I just uh, recorded the new episode of Cryostasis. So uh, I figured. You know why not? I'll, I'll I'll show you guys exactly how it is that I that I uh, put my videos through Windows Movie Maker and uh, how I go through the whole process of things. So let me just uh, grab a beer like this one right here. I figured you know if I was gonna do this, let's do it the good way, the Rolling Rock. You'll read it backwards, but who cares? I'm not trying to be cliche with the whole AVGN liking Rolling Rocks during videos, but I just like Rolling Rock. Ah, uh, that's a really good beer. So, uh, yeah. Um, let's just uh, jump over to my desktop here. My beautiful little thing in the jig, my Asus Essentio desktop. With, uh, there's my screen and my rolling rock. And my desktop mic that you can't really see because it's all black. kind of blends in with that thing. But, um, let's go jump over to my screen. So I'll see you guys momentarily. So, we're over here on my desktop now. This is uh, my Oregon Ducks desktop. I've had this since uh, one of the first weeks of the season. Or actually, now I think about it, that's the UCLA game. Kind of a superstition thing. Anyway, so, I have just now finished uh, recording an episode. As you can see, uh, these three files right here. Those are the ones. Now, uh, on average, I mean, you can see per file, they're about, you know, almost four gigs apiece. And for those of you that know YouTube standards, they can only be about two gigs in size. Otherwise, that's just not going to work, which is exactly why we do it this way. So we're going to open up Windows Live Movie Maker just because. And uh, yes, I do have these in segments of three. Uh, for some reason, I am not in my folder. The folder called Let's Plays. Who knew? So we're going to add the other two pieces of this in here. So now you're probably, you know, I'll kind of explain this to you, but... You ever wonder why in my videos there's two different segments in which the audio cuts out just for like a split second and then it comes back in? That would be this part here, you know, where one part of my video jumps out into the other one. That little segment right there is where there's no audio. So if you've ever wondered about that, well, there's your answer. Anywho, so we got my three pieces of video there. You can kind of see my timeline of my video. I'm not really going to spoil too much for you here, but now I have to add the picture, that little... uh photoshopped image that you see kind of for like my sub intro thing there so we'll add the cryostasis banner and it got added to the bottom of it so we have to drag the other pieces on top of it so we'll move that up to the front there and then uh, we'll go to video tools and change the duration for how long that picture is there we'll change it to 10 seconds and we'll go to the first part here and we'll add an animation like I do for all these we'll uh We'll add the white one hey. there because uh, I kind of had it to the point where, um, oops, sorry about that. I kind of had it to the point where it looks sort of like snow or like it's fading out of snow when it comes in. So I don't know. I just thought it'd be cool. Then we'll have the animation for the beginning. And so now we have just this here, but there's just a little something missing there. So what we need to do is we need to add the the uh, sound effects, the the howling wind that you hear all the time. Now that would look like it's too long, would it not? So what we're going to do is we're going to shorten it. We'll go to Music Tools, change that to 10 seconds to coincide with how long the picture's there. Even though it is a little bit longer, that is how long it is supposed to be there though. So we'll have it fade out quickly so that it's not too loud or anything. And now you see what you're so familiar with. That little intro piece that will kind of jump out there. But I won't let you see any of that video yet. I don't want you guys to feel like I'm giving you too many liberties here. So how I used to save my videos a long time ago, like if you watch my like uh, Penumbra series, uh, you notice that I had like um, the widescreen bars on the side, which I tried to remedy that by, you know, putting in some extra YouTube tags, but unfortunately that did not do the trick, and that was because I was saving them in high definition display, which will automatically put it widescreen, and it will cause that problem. 
though I did like the fact that it would, you know, make it high def, at the same time, that fact that it gave me the widescreen bars really started to chat my ass, and so I kind of stopped doing it. Not to mention that it takes longer to save and longer to upload. It wasn't so much of a problem with, like, uh, Amnesia and Penumbra, because those, for whatever reason, seem to upload pretty quickly. But I encountered this when I was, um, when I was uploading cryostasis videos. The very first one that I uploaded, it was about 12 minutes. The fact that, A the size of the file was almost too big to fit in there that's one reason why the first couple videos are only 12 minutes long the next part is that it took literally almost three hours to upload it which you know I don't mind because if I was going to work I could just have it upload and go to work and you know who cares but at the same time it's kind of a pain in the ass so what I do now is instead of saving it in 16 9 aspect ratio for widescreen We'll just save it in the uh, 4 computer setting, which is just a basic 4-3 aspect ratio, nothing big. The thing that I love about it the most is that it uh, saves faster. So we'll save this as part 21. Man, I can't believe I already made that many of those. And so now we have it saving. No big deal there, right? So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll let that save and uh, we'll jump back over on my laptop. So we'll so see yeah, you momentarily. No back over here, so... Let's hang out for a while. I mean, I won't need to hang out for too long of a while. I mean, I literally just switched from my desktop over to my laptop, and it's already at 15% done saving. It's just ridiculous like that. So, uh, yeah, you know, I'm watching TV over here. It looks like the Mavericks and the Suns are playing today. I don't really like either one of those teams, but it's really the only thing that's on. So, what the hell am I supposed to do about it, you know? I'm trying to figure out exactly what I'm going to do tonight, you know? Just, uh, I don't know. I know my brother's coming over for a little while. In probably about 15 minutes. We're supposed to do a little project for a little Christmas present for his uh, father-in-law. No big deal, you know? We'll get that all, all squared away when he gets here. But, yeah, I mean, I've actually used that Windows Movie Maker... Um, program for everything that I've, every video that I've ever made, I've, you know, I've uh, run through that for my editing purposes. Um, I really wish I would have thought about not saving that in high def format because I would have really loved to have my uh, Penumbra series and a few other series to not be in widescreen mode because it really starts to bother me now that I look back at it. But I don't want to take them all. I don't want to take them all off and then have to re-upload all of them again after refilming them all again. So, you know, it just kind of shows my evolution as a uh, video maker comes. You know, not a big thing. I just, uh, I kind of like things the way they are now. It's very convenient. I don't know how long it would take, you know, the rest of you to save these videos as I'm at 63% now. I mean, it shows really how quickly these things can go. But uh, I got a, got a pretty sturdy computer over there. I mean, it, it cost me a pretty penny, let me tell you what. That took a nice uh, piece out of my savings account, for real. So, uh, yeah. Let me uh, show you around my room, sort of. That over there, that's my bed. Completely covered in trash. And then uh, here's my TV. My nice big TV that you're seeing everything backwards in. Looks like the Heat and the Lakers are playing on Christmas. Don't really like either one of those teams too much. But if I had to go with anybody, I'd probably say the Heat because I hate the Lakers. And then, yes, I am showing you my bathroom all the way over there. I have done many, many hours worth of contemplating things in there, whether it be LPs, like which one to do, or uh, life decisions have been made in there on all sorts of stuff. So I think I've even like fallen asleep in there a couple of times, to be blatantly honest with you. So, uh, yeah, well, you know, that's how that goes. It looks like my video, my dear God, it is actually already about to be completed here. Listen for the ding, provided that it happens. Oh, come on. Come on, come on. It likes to play games with me like this. I don't know if it's going to happen. I don't know if I'll be able to hear it. Aha, there it is. So, your movie, part number 21, is finished. 
I don't save the projects because I don't need to because the video is there and that's all that needs to happen. So, for those of you that were curious enough to want to know how I render and upload my videos, well, I guess that kind of answered the thing for you. So, uh, yeah, I'm actually going to upload that episode of Cryostasis right now after I upload this, of course. So, it usually takes roughly about uh, anywhere between 35 and 40 minutes to upload. It doesn't take too long because of the fact that I didn't save it in widescreen format is the exact reason why it uh, doesn't take as long. The file size isn't nearly as big. Remember that 10 gig file size we had is now compressed to, let's see what we got, um, 505 megabytes, which is only a quarter of the limit for YouTube. So I could have made that video it's probably about a, no, I don't know, a, uh, excuse me, about a 14 minute and 48 second video. I could have made something roughly almost 50 minutes long and still been under the, uh, under the constraints for file size, so it just shows how how good Windows Movie Maker is at compressing videos. That's why I use it. I could have used things like, you know, Adobe Premiere Pro, but you know, I just I didn't want to have to go through learning an entire new system, even though it probably is in every concept better than a Windows Movie Maker. I just decided to stay with something that I'm familiar with, something that's easy enough to navigate around and doesn't really take a lot of my time to deal with, so you know, I, I'm glad I'm using what I am. Um, yeah, I used to use a program called Snagit9 for my uh, for my um, filming software. I just use Fraps now. It's a little more easy to use, I guess, and it actually gives me better video quality. Even though I've had my my small stints with uh, with a little bit of lag, no big deal. I, you'll actually you can kind of blatantly tell the difference if you watch like my amnesia video which uh, those were all filmed with fraps compared to like my uh, my calling card series as we put it uh, my gauntlet dark legacy series that was all filmed with uh, snag at nine you can blatantly tell that the uh, the video quality for that's a lot more choppy even though the uh, the audio does sync up a little bit better uh, it was just a little more dicey and there are a lot of issues with my filming where for whatever reason doesn't allow you to like have like a mouse underneath the region that you choose to film with. It was just a pain in the ass. I had my fun with it, but it's time to move along with bigger and better things. So I'm glad I was able to show you guys this little behind the scenes of uh, how I make my videos in the center, as I like to call it. So uh, yeah, this is uh, your host for all things in the AMF world, AMF1534, saying uh, thank you for watching this little behind the scenes piece. And uh, Stick around for that episode of Cryostasis, which I had just finished filming not too long ago. So I will see you guys another day. Signing out. Go Ducks. Bye.